Beacon Auction, Kissimmee, Florida, 2024. Got some more Mopars. Let's check them out. This one here, huh? I looked at the estimate on this. I'm surprised, but I guess let's take a look at it. All right. So we got a 1969 Dodge Charger. Odometer reached 378 miles. I don't know if that's correct. Actual miles or not, but that's that might be why this estimate's 150 to 175,000. But here's the weird thing. Comprehensive restoration, matching numbers engine, special order butterscotch paint color, black bucket seat interior, special order luggage rack, broadcast sheet, power windows. So this thing here was kind of loaded. This was somebody bought this, I guess to take it on vacation. I don't know. Let's take a look at it. I don't know what size engine this is because there's no badging on it. It's probably either a 383 or a 440. I don't know how to tell the difference, but it does have headers on it. So it's had basically a day two restoration. It looks like it's had air conditioning added to it, I'm assuming. Or maybe it had factory air and they just put this modern air on it. I mean, it's a super nice car. It's, it's clean. It's this butternut, butterscotch is a very interesting color. It actually looks like butterscotch pudding. That's cool. Got some uh, Magnum 500 wheels, but they're a lot fatter than the factory ones were, obviously, in the back. Manual transmission, probably a 727. This car is really clean, though, man. It's beautiful on the inside. I love it. Very nice. Very, very nice. Vinyl top. Some people like them, some people don't. And an unusual and rare option the trunk lid mounted luggage rack. Now, I don't know about you, but in 1969, I don't think I'd want to strap my suitcase on that and drive down the road. Because you hit a rainstorm, well, then you, then you got a suitcase full of wet, moldy clothes. But that's their decision. I like how the, how the body line sloped past the windshield right there. See that? That's really cool. I love it. I love these cars. They're gorgeous. It's got the big, long tail lights in it. I don't know if those are sequential or not. They might be. Very cool. Very nice. Very nice car. What do you guys think of this? Butterscotch paint job. Beautiful. Interesting car. All right, 69 Dodge Charger. Or Charger. Okay, we got another one over here. Let's go look at it. You're gonna like this one. Another unusual one. 71 Challenger RT. One of only 31 produced. Wow. 383, 300 horse. 84, about 84,500 miles on it. Citron Yella. It's not yellow, it's Yella. Estimate 125 to 150, one of 31, original broadcast sheet, 383, torque flight, transmission, factory correct color combination, citron yellow, vinyl, white vinyl top, white interior, factory air, power steering, bucket seats, rally instrument cluster, with clock, rear window defogger, sport windows, wood grain steering wheel, sport hood with tie down pins, dual exhaust, chrome tips, light package, pedal, dress up kit, tinted glass, Wheel lift drip. Man, this thing's got all kinds of freaking, all kinds of freaking uh, extras on it. Oh, look at that. It's got a moonroof, too. Did they even mention that? Nope. Ha! They didn't even mention the fact that it has a moonroof in it. That's funny. So there's your uh, RT hood. 383 Magnum. Now this one here does have the factory air. That's the, the correct compressor on it and the correct air cleaner. So it's a, a restoration, not a day two restoration. That uh, yellow is an awfully bright yellow. White interior. I think this is a give me a ticket car, right? With this color like this, the cops saw you coming a mile away. Very nice. Very cool car. And check this out, guys. Holy smokes, look at that. Uh, Add on cassette player you put under your dash. That's hilarious. <laughs> this whole hat was an AM radio in it. Wow, that's funny. Moonroof. RT. Very interesting. <laughs> wow.
What do you guys think of that? You like that yellow? <coughs> Very cool. Challenger. Yeah. yeah. It's got the polyglass 14 inch uh, high supply tires on it. This thing had a lot of added options on it, but they got the broadcast sheet for it, so that's cool. All right, there's that one. We got another one back here. Let's look at it. You gotta love this one, right? Okay. Plymouth Barracuda, 1970 Plymouth Barracuda, 528, 650 horsepower. Holy smokes. Four year restoration. Race prep, 727 transmission, pistol, pistol grip, shiver, plum, crazy, paint, roll bar, oh, power convertible top. Oh, man, roll, oh, it does have a roll bar. So this is a power convertible top, and it's a, like a drag car. That's pretty cool. Shaker hood, rear wing, Dana 60 rear with sure grip. Yep. Everybody else call them a pause attraction. Dodge call them a sure grip. All right. Check this out, 420, well, actually, it's, what, did, what did I say it was, a what? 528. It's not a 426, it's a 528, 100 horsepower higher. Man, I guess that's why the estimate on this one's 200. 200 to 225,000. That's beautiful. Shaker, I like, I like that, look at that. That emblem, how it looks like it's shaking, huh? That's cool. Plum Crazy Purple. He's got some information in here. I don't know how much of that you can see. I'll go around the other side, maybe see it a little better. This was an automatic car. Oh, and it's got the, it's got the same, uh, same cassette player down there. Huh, interesting. There's your dash. Nice. Well, the, the uh, window's up on the other side, so I'm going to put, put this in there. I don't know how much of you guys can see. I'll just have to look. cool right there's that uh there's that roll bar see that coming across there goes down that's kind of a instead of being round tube it's like a rectangle or a, a oval tube <laughs> convertible top hemi 528 Woo. i'll bet this thing moves on down the road wow that's beautiful Beautiful car. Sun's coming out. Oh, look at this. Look at this on the on the rocker panel down there. It's got some kind of a like. I don't know if that's factory or not. Interesting. Well, there ain't no room in that engine compartment. That 528 takes up a lot of room. That's cool. All right, guys, that's it for the Mopar for now. Talk to you later.